Okay, let's try this again. So, we are doing a birthday stream where I'm playing um, an old game that I made six years ago for the Relic Castle Relic Summer Game Jam number three in 2017. I tried to just playtest a dev version that I had done, but um, we ran into some issues. Actually, oh, fuck me. I reckon I have an idea. I'm, I'm being an absolute fluff lord about this. No, okay, I don't. Let's let's go back to that. I don't know. I'm so I'm a mess. I'm sorry. But yeah, so this is a the first fan game I ever made. Oh thank you, Zane. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Graphics are overrated. Hopefully this version of the game works a bit better because I was trying to run an old dev version just then. And um it seems like a lot of the files have been lost over the years. And so really the game does not work. All the scripts are gone, all the graphics are gone, all the PBS are gone. But that's all right. We'll just play the like non-dev file version, which means we won't get like the little post jam update I did. It was very little. It doesn't really matter. But we'll see how this goes. Hopefully, it works this time. And I will try to like give a bit of insight into some of the weird choices I made in this game. It's going to be very cringeworthy, but we'll, we'll see what we can do. Before we start this game, I just want to thank you so much for giving this game a shot. Thank you. Now let's get the show on the road. <laughs> well, well, Octavius, we'll see what happens. As I wait in the dark, I find my mind wanders a lot. I remember and I forget, my mind forever running. Where am I? What is happening? What is my name? All these thoughts from wild in my head. What is my name? Okay, we're just going to call myself Tom, because that is my name. Oh, listen to that default essentials music. Tom, yes, that's right. How did I get here in the first place? I guess you might say it started when I walked into Packington Town. But then again, one way to look at it is to blame that stupid old man and his crocorock. Or maybe you could blame that kid at the school who lost his lily pip, lily pop. But do I really blame anyone other than myself to blame? Do I really have any? I can't read. Do I really have anyone other than myself to blame? I was an emotional wreck and that is why I'm here. I guess my journey did start back then in my school days with that kid. Those were the best days of my life. I want to go back. Oh look, the graphics are here this time. Now, to quickly summarize before lunch starts, you multiply the base length and the height, but you have to remember to half it. Wow, the formula of the area of a triangle, how invigorating. And the height is not always just the length of the other side. This is easy stuff, you should get it. Okay, no, no. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you. Okay, I'll try to, um, so just to clarify what has been done in chat, Octavius has banned the word that was posted right there for five minutes. I've got the timer going. Um, I said, I said it, but I will try my best not to say it, um, to provide some context of what's happening here. The quote, quote, this is easy stuff. You should get it is something that my Octavius, I'm gonna, I'm gonna veto yours for a moment just so I can talk. <laughs> This is easy stuff and you should get it is a quote that my old physics teacher would always say when explaining concepts. He would always go, this is easy stuff, you should get it. I teach this, like, if I can take this to the grade sixes across the road, they will get it. You must understand this, this is easy stuff. Meanwhile, he'd be talking about some weird physics stuff that nobody understands. This is not rocket science. He would always say that. He always said it. He always said, this is not rocket science. Oh, I forgot that. Anyway, the bell should have gone by now. Go have lunch. Excuse me, Mrs. Potts. Come here and spit it out. Uh, I took my lily pup to school today and... What? You know the rules, Ted. You can't bring Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, he would always say it. And literally... So he would say it for like a while. And then we got to the point where we covered rocket science. Like a grade 8 perspective on rocket science. And he still said the quote, being fully aware of how dumb it was. That's it. Will this happen again or do I need to get out my detention booklet? That, that's not why I came to you. I can't find him and I think someone stole him. I know you can help me find him. Boy, you're getting in over your head trying that on me. Keep your mouth shut and find your lily pup by yourself. Come on, I love my lily pup. I don't know how to go on without him. I know you can help me. You're wrong. I can't help you. You broke the rules and this is what happens. Screw you, Potts. That's it. Friday lunchtime, me and you here in 2B. Maybe you can think about your behavior. That's wrong. Your that I used there. There's lots of typos in all my games, and this is 
by far no exception. Tom, I'm sorry you had to see all that. Why aren't you getting out there and having lunch? Wait, no way. Are you going to be a hero and swoop in and save the day? Please, tell me, are you going to help me find my lollipop? Ooh, flashback time. I didn't have a choice. Here this boy stood in front of me, show, showing his love for a Pokemon he had lost. I had to say yes. Maybe things would have been better if I had, ne had turned him down. But looking back, I understand how he felt. That Lily Puff was special indeed. So that's kind of like the framing device of this whole game. The idea is that it's like some old guy looking back on all his memories. And so he's thinking about a school. That That's it. Yay. <laughs> You will? Thank you so much. You have no idea how much this means to me. I guess I should tell you everything I know so you can be a good detective. Oh my god, this, is this a Action Frost Peak prequel? Let me just get my jacket because it's getting cold. Octavius, when I'm at my... After the stream, I'll remember to um, refund the channel points you spent on the word bands. Just because I feel bad sucking that many points out of you and not listening to a band. I guess I should tell you everything I know so you can be a good detective. <laughs> yeah, I guess you're a detective now. So the last time I had Lily Pop was in the Chill Club. You're not a member, are you? Hmm, you'll need a pass to get inside. Sadly, I left my pass at home today. You could try asking Rex if you could join the club. It's just for us middle year kids, so you should be allowed. Although he might ask you to do a test of sorts to check how chill you are. But he's a nice guy, so don't get scared. Again, thank you so much for offering to help. Please help me find my Lily Pop. I wasn't thinking much. All I thought was, yeah, this sounds fun. I get to be like that famous... Holy shit. This is before I even made Luka games. I was... I was putting Luka in my Pokemon fan games way back then. I do not remember that. Part of the reason I started doing like Luka in all my fan games is because I met someone called Paprika. Paprika. Who's like obsessed with Luka. And so like the main way I've convinced them to help make art for fan games was if like I agreed to make Luka or Interpol fan games. But here we go, a Luka mention all the way back in 2017. Slight Ted suggested I headed towards the chill club. There's a lot in this game that I don't remember, but I do remember there's a lot of lever text. This is a very short game, really it's only like half an hour if you speedrun it. Not even, no, it's like 10 minutes if you speedrun it. It's like half an hour if you take your time. Take your time means interacting with all the flavor text I implemented. And again, okay, so pretty much every NPC in this game has um a name. What? That doesn't make any sense. A name with some kind of abstract meaning behind it. Mrs. Potts, I can't remember. Ted might be because of Ted Mosby from How I Met Your Mother. But here you've got Tam's desk and Tim's desk. Now, does that sound familiar to anyone? All these years later, I'm still not over my obsession. Okay, and what we've got here is um Tim's box, and he's got a pass to the Chill Club. Now, you can take this and get access to the Chill Club. However, I prefer the other method in this game of getting access to the Chill Club, so we're going to do that instead. Beck. I, I don't know if I have any reason by naming this person Beck. People think I'm weird because I spend my lifetime reading, but this reading space was Tubi's gift, so why not use it? Oh, hello, Sauce. Welcome, welcome. To be his gift. Don't you remember, silly? Every class got a chance to vote for something they wanted in their classroom. We ended up choosing some nice cushions for reading. That's cute. Hello, Sauce. Welcome, welcome. I'm just playing the first fan game I ever made. The nerve of that tag kid. So I think all of this, yeah, so there should be lots of flavor text to read at. I think that will be the most fun thing to do here because it's going to be very nostalgic for me. Mrs. Potts has put a list of the rules on the wall. They all seem very strict. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Sauce. That's very nice. You didn't have to do that. Thank you. I am thinking maybe Mrs. Potts is a reference to some novel that I don't remember about maybe like a strict teacher. It's a map of the Yomo region. I guess I gave my region a name, not that I remembered it. Something that we'll kind of come to see is that all my, I don't know how many of my fan games we're going to play, but all my fan games are like slightly, slightly connected. And um, if we run into a connection, I'll try to point it out. The laptop has a list of the Chill Club members on it. Okay, so this is who we're supposed to talk to, Rex, and he's supposed to 
led us into a chill club, so we can. I can't remember what Ted said. We can get some info about Lillipop there. I think that's where he left Lillipop, and then Lillipop disappeared. Let's see your pass. What you don't have a pass? I bet you. I guess you better get going. Although I do have a little join if you're desperate to join. <laughs> it's going to be interesting. Buy me a lemonade and I'll get you a pass, meaning that we can hang out in the chill club. Come back here when you get me my lemonade. There should be a vending machine on the roof. Now, I will talk to all these people later because I remember this guy's Pilko, right? So this is just one of the NPCs that's like named after people from my real life school life. Although funnily enough, Pilko is not someone I ever talked to. I just liked his name and I thought it'd be a nice NPC name. So Pilko is a real person, but um, we're not friends. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had a conversation with Pilko. We just went to the same school. I forgot to pack my lunch today. I guess I needed to lose some weight. Pilko, you're like, what are you? You're in middle school. You shouldn't have to worry about that stuff. Dude, you're like a kid. Yo, Tom, have you heard the new song that's all over the radio? I'm not sure what the name of it is, but it's hella edgy. It's pretty good, but I think the radio is going to play it to death. What, what's your name? Finn, what the hell are you talking about? What kind of dialogue is this? Talking about some random song on the radio being played to death and being edgy? Real middle school vibes. Okay, so we're going to get going to the roof now so we can visit the vending machine. Now, this boy right here is called Jose, I believe. And Jose is actually named after a member of Relic Castle. And I believe Jose is going to tell us a joke. And it is like a, a joke that I associated with that member of Relic Castle. Why don't Miltank have feet? Because they lack toes. Lactose as in lactose. Yeah, a really good joke. <laughs> okay, let's go and get that lemonade that he wanted. So the main reason that you can get the pass at Tim's deck, <laughs> minus two... <laughs> The main reason you can get the chill club pass at Tim's desk instead of doing this little side quest is because I was like, well, what if somebody just spends all their money on fresh water and doesn't buy the lemonade and then they run out of money? Well, then you can just go to the desk, get the chill club pass, and you don't even need to do this mini side quest. Okay, so let's talk to... We'll come... I believe the way this game is set up is at some point you need to visit every floor. So we'll talk to the NPCs as we visit the various floors. Hey, oh, so this is Tim and Tam, though. I made him before. Again, shout out to Tim and Tam. I have not gotten over my addiction in six years. Hello, I'm Tim and this is my... I'm Tam and this is my twin, Tim. Normally we spend our time in a chill club, but not today. <laughs> hey, I'm Tim and this is my twin, Tam. Our parents had a very bad sense of humor. Seems like I must be your dad. Hey, that's my man. Hand over that lemonade. Welcome to the Chill Club. Here's your pass. Now you may go and leave as you please. We got the Chill Club pass. Let me get out of your way. Oh my god, do you see that high quality game dev? Vex just like teleported like Goku out of my way. Flash of light and gone. Now the thing I wanted to see is... Did I make it so that you can no longer take Tim's Chill Pass? There seems to be a Chill Club pass inside. I can take it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm amazing, man. Real high quality stuff here. Okay, it doesn't say anything. It, it's just still one chill club pass. What a shame, Tom. Can't believe Tom from six years ago didn't bother doing that. Welcome to the chill club. Oh, I remember this. What, what, this is high quality game dev. Look what happens here. Man, I can't see anything. Come on, dude, move it. Dude, you're in the way. Okay, I believe these three are... So, yeah, just a tiny little event I did, but flavor text, you know. You walk in the way, they get mad at you. These three are Mike, Luke, and Andy. I think that they are named after, like, the Xbox YouTube channel members, if I am correct. Because, you know, Xbox YouTube channel members... Gamers, go hand in hand. What do we have here? The Chill Club has quite a selection of games. Super Smash Pro Pokes, Grand Theft Pokemon 5, 
Zelda, your masks. Your masks, mask. What am I fucking smoking, man? I know, man. Zelda, your mask, mask. Oh, you fucking idiot. Tom, what are you doing? I gotta use that one another day. That's good. Hi, oh, sorry, I only just found out you were trying to help Ted. If I knew, I would have let you in straight away. I know. Why didn't I go with, like, Majora's your mask? Instead, I went with your mask's mask. <laughs> There's a, a special quality to that comedy. Just sitting with them by the couch has been acting weird. She might be able to help you. So I've come in here to look for clues for Ted's missing Lily Pip. Can I look at your computer? Vex seems to be organized in something for the chill club. Laptop here lies unattended. How did they manage to set up this club? Um, the inspiration for the chill club was like in grade four. Me and a friend really wanted to like pitch together and create an awesome treehouse club where we could um like set up video game consoles and stuff like this. And we thought, oh, it'll be such a cool secret club. Obviously that never happened because grade fours and grade threes can't can't quite do that. But that's what this chill club's based off. How old was I when I made this? Okay, so this was six years ago. I am now 21 turning 22. So what, like I would have been 15 or 16. 15 or 16? Yeah. 16. I would have been 16. Oh, hey, you're Tom, right? I know, I heard you could use some help on Ted's missing Pokemon case. I know someone who is involved in Ted's robbery, and I'm willing to tell you, but for a price. Girl, you're like a little kid. Why can't you, like, help me out? You're going to fucking rob me of my money so that I can help some other dude find his missing Pokemon? Oh, well, watch out, Source. This, this game gets edgy. It does get edgy. <laughs> it's a dark turn. That is not well written. I'm willing to tell you, but for a price. I have something that you want, and you have something I want. What the fuck did I write? What is this? Wait, I can't remember what this is, man. What the fuck? Oh. Oh. Oh, fuck. Maybe this was a bad idea. I don't think I should have played this game. I don't think I should have played this game. What have I done? You know, now that I think about it, I think I actually didn't make this game. I think I, think I downloaded the wrong game. This isn't my game. And some, some other weirdo must have made this game. I have something you want and you have something I want. You are a boy. Dot dot dot. The thing is, I really like Chris, but I don't know how to approach him. Okay, see that? That's, and you are a boy and all boys seem to have some bro thing going on. So you must be able to talk to him. Bit of misdirection from Tom six years ago, but holy shit. Why are you going to do that to me? So if you can talk to Chris and convince him to approach me, I will be give you a very important info. I know, right? Fucking uh, childhood Tom has my heart beating. Also, Chris is an older boy, so he's probably somewhere on the second floor. Now go on, chop chop. Okay, so before we go and check out the second floor, where all the old... Because the way it's organized is youngest on the ground floor, then first floor, then second floor, like growing up per year level. Um, there should be some classrooms on this floor that we have not checked out yet. Okay, what we got here? Oh, hi there. Welcome to the class of 2A. We're pretty friendly here. I'm watching these plants and hope that a decorated room will help me pay more attention. Sure, if the room's decorated, you just get distracted and look at the decorations. Sure, Joe. My, what the fuck, Joe? My rock tells me things. It has been watching this school when students are here and it has noticed something. Something wrong is happening in this school. The rock is not wrong, but... A fancy rock sits on the table. It's a picture of the headmaster. Oh, okay, I can't... Anyway, this name is inspired, but I can't talk about it too much because I don't want to dox myself. Hello, I'm the headmaster. I think I've seen you around before. Even though I'm a headmaster, I still like to teach. It helps me understand how the school's going. Okay, um, and what's on your whiteboard? The whiteboard has some information incorrectly spelled, about multiplying decimals on it. There are a bunch of books on a wide range of things. Somewhere in here are references to other fan games, but it must be a different bookshelf. I should save in case something in this game crashes me. Okay, I remember classroom on the right. 
What we got here? Some girls eating her curry. Welcome to the class 2C. I prefer to eat my lunch inside the classroom. It's a bit weird, but eh. I love being outdoors. So much cool stuff is out here. Caves, Pokemon, ruins, a whole bunch of stuff. You do not look like a kid, Ryan. In fact, none of these people look like kids. Sometimes I spend my whole lunch looking outside the window. You should take a look and see if you can spot anything cool. Huh? I do not remember this. It looks so nice outside, but here you are, stuck in school. Can I see anything out the window? <laughs> is that like foreshadowing, or is it just random ass dialogue? Outside the window is black. No, I can't give in yet. I want to keep living in these memories. <laughs> Thank you, Sauce, for the Discord on ping. Uh, Discord on ping? Ping on Discord. Outside this window, you see a man waiting outside a shop with his Pikachu. Um, so just to reiterate in case Source missed it, the frame and device of this um game is that you're like looking back on your memories in your last moments. We don't know how the dude's dying yet, but um you're some old dude dying looking back on your memories as a kid, wondering where everything went wrong. I thought sits on the table detailing the students, and so I guess that was the dude kinda of losing focus a little bit and blacking out. <laughs> Thank you. You're not in my class, are you? It's so hard to remember who is and who isn't. And what's on your whiteboard? The whiteboard has the date and weather written on it. I reckon that's a reference to when I was learning Chinese in high school. We would start every class by writing the weather, season, and date in Chinese. Our teacher called it SOPs, Standard Operating Procedures, and he said, as soon as you get in the classroom, you write it down for a date and weather. That's your SOP. He was um a bit of a nut job, but he wasn't like a bad person. This class sure does like their collections. The computer seems to have a few games installed, but it's mostly been set up with schoolwork in mind. On the shelf is a collection of pictures showing the class in various fun situations. Are these all the same? A collection of cool rocks is shown on the shelf. I guess that's what the... Surely, do you actually not learn Chinese in your high school? We learned Chinese, German, and French were our options. You see various other buildings below, a poke center, a mart, and lots of houses. I can't believe I added flavor text to the windows. There's a mark left in the dust from where something used to be, and the door is left open. Hmm. I guess... Spanish is a common one. I think other schools did Spanish, just not mine. Oh, hello, this is Free A. We're a small class, but we have some fun times. I think I have two children in your year. You can tell who they are because our family's purple hair. Who in my year has purple hair? <laughs> why German? I don't know why German, I guess. I don't know. As being a colonized country, they like to teach European languages. German and French are some fairly, fairly well-renowned ones. Hey there, welcome to Freebie. Sorry about what I'm wearing. I work at a Pokemon for my part-time job, so I go to school straight after my morning shift. I honestly don't know how old these kids are supposed to be, because sometimes they act like 12-year-olds, sometimes they act like 17-year-olds going to the Pokemon to work. I normally just use lunch to get free time and where I play or reacts playing video games okay good reading tom all right this is again i don't want to dox myself too much but this is named after a real person i'm the reverend of the school i also do my part in society by teaching this class 3b may good fortune follow you in your life this picture shows red stokes standing in front of a crowd giving people a speech he's on my cool maps game website what <laughs> inside are many pictures of reverend strokes at events Okay, so I am looking for Chris on this floor because Jess wanted me to convince Chris to talk to... Oh, you went in here. To talk to her. Can't believe Jess is really going after an older guy. Omar. I think I vaguely remember me picking the name Omar because I thought of Olimar from Pikmin and when I just took off a letter... <laughs> We don't go, we don't have many students in our year level, so the second floor is pretty empty. I guess most kids drop out before second year, right? Or whatever it is, second year? I can't remember. Oh, hey, I didn't know other people came in here. This is where Fracy used to be, but not enough students continued school. Oh, I'm right. 
a letter to Olima? Oma? Olima? Oh, true! <laughs> Enough students continued school, they all left on their adventure. Um, but yeah, welcome to the abandoned class of 3C. So, Julian and Tess, they're named after people who I actually used to work at, who I knew when I worked at a part-time job or casual job or whatever. I used to work at a fish and chip shop bars in high school, and Julian and Tess were my co-workers. And they were both older than me, so I guess that's why I've been placed in the older year. <laughs> Look, I can't count letters. Me and Tess used this class to practice our moves. I fight and she dances. They're surprisingly similar, so we thought we would practice together. Your classroom is completely empty, and I've got no flavor text to interact with here. Yeah, you know, fish and chips. I worked there for about two and a half years. I really enjoyed it. Storage room. Wait, so where the hell is Chris? Did I miss a classroom? Are you Chris? Oh, he is. <laughs> the British cuisine. Bottle of water. I'll give you some fish and chips, mate. Damn, Julian, he is so lucky. Oh, sorry, hi there. Is there something you wanted to say? <laughs> Fair enough, go eat your breakfast. Um, really? Some girl in your year likes me? Jess? Can't say I've ever heard of her. Sorry, man, I don't know what position you're in, but I've kind of got my eyes on someone else. Like, I've got no chance of getting with this girl I like. She is pretty much spoken for. But I feel it would be bad for me to give, to give hope to someone who likes me when I still have feelings for someone else. Also, I never liked the idea of dating a young woman. It just feels weird. Maybe I've said a bit much. Could you just let Jess know I'm sorry, but no? You must really be caught up in something if you're use, being used as a messenger for girls. Good luck, man. It's not wrong. I'm pretty sure the, the plot here, which does not get spelt out, but you can deduct by the fact that there's one girl that is Chris's age, is that Chris has a crush, crush on Tess, but he feels like Tess and Julian are much a thing. Anyway, just a bit of lore about the characters, you know. Ha ha ha. You're back. Did you talk to him? Oh, he isn't interested? Well, thanks anyway. I, I guess you did all you could. So I owe you some information on Ted's missing Pokemon, I guess. Well, first I need to tell you something about Ted. Keep this hush hush, because Ted wouldn't be happy if I told you this. So the thing is... <laughs> I know, oh my god. Wait until you meet the purple man. It's, quite, it's just a Nidoking Queen, or Nidoking. King. It's just a Nidoking. King. Ted's lily pup isn't really his. He found the lily pup in a vervain alone on his way home and decided to adopt it. So at night, Ted snuck the lily pup into his house, but his parents caught him. The thing is, Ted's parents don't like Pokemon in the house. They believe having Pokemon at a young age influences children to leave on adventures before completing their education. Oh, thank you, Anne. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> So Ted was made to leave Lillipop on the street, but he didn't. He took the Lillipop to school and now he keeps it in the chill club overnight. And as you know, something went wrong. Sometime last night, Ted's Lillipop was stolen. And I know who did it. <gasps> the thing is, they aren't really someone we can mess with, so I was reluctant to tell you, but a promise is a promise. My parents don't live in the city, so sometimes they're late to take me home. So while I'm waiting at school, I sometimes see the janitor walking around. And in one of his boxes he uses as a bin, I saw him putting in some stuff he had stolen from the school. I'm pretty sure that's where Ted's Lily Pop went, in the janitor's box. But seriously, Tom, be careful, you'll get in trouble if you confront the janitor. It seems like he and the headmaster are friends, but you could still get Lily Pop back if you're feeling brave. He must be somewhere in the janitor's closet. The janitor doesn't come until school ends. You still have a bit of time until lunch ends, so the closet is on the second floor. If you're serious about helping Ted, this should be the next step. Now seriously, keep your mouth shut about what I've told you. I'm only helping you because you helped, or tried to help me. Tom, you seem like a nice guy, please be careful. Jeez, I sure hope everything works out for this Tom guy. Hopefully nothing bad happens to him, as he tries to get this lily pup back. Let's find out. Closet on the second floor, this looks familiar. Okay, let's check this box. You open this box to find it empty, but you notice that the box has some crinkles, meaning something was in here. You notice I'm noticing a lot. You notice a small note on the side of the box. To-do list. Gather goods around school. Leave list of goods in 2A for D. Pack goods and finish. It seems Jess was right. 
The janitor has been stealing from the school, but he wasn't alone. Who is D? I guess I should go to 2A and find the list and find out if Lily Pop was stolen by the janitor. Let's quickly check this. There might be... I like to put interesting flavor text in bookshelves, but today it seems like we are... <laughs> These nuts. Oh, the setup six years in the making. Creepy, why is there a cage? Hmm, I wonder why there's a cage. What does this machine do? Weird computer stuff. What is it useful? Is this all... Yeah, this is all weird computer stuff. Okay, so we want to go to 2A and find the janitor's list. Hello, Endless. Welcome, welcome. Pivot, pivot. 2A is downstairs. Oh, I cannot walk downstairs. Happy birthday. Yeah, officially. It's my birthday as of one minute ago, or two minutes ago, apparently. Thank you for joining me. So we're looking for a D. Huh, how funny. Dr. Dre. He's got a D in his name. He can't possibly be the one in cahoots with the janitor being evil. Uh, where is the list of goods though? I think it's in the bookshelf? Hmm, slipped in the bookcase is a piece of paper. This paper lists a number of items. Dragonite Quest 8, $10 in cash, Pokeball. Exchange will take place in the cabin as usual. I've left a spare key to the cabin in 1A. Could this Pokeball be Lillipop? I guess it is time to check out 1A. So now we're going to check out the very ground floor that we haven't really been to yet. And we're going to... Tr this is a game that I made six years ago, Endless. It is, um, it's something. We're currently... <laughs> it's not quite Fortnite. We're currently trying to be a little high school detective and get our friend's stolen Pokemon back. And it seems like the janitor has stolen the... He was the culprit who stole the Lillipop. But let's see. Dennis, something weird is going on. I swear all us young kids look the same. All the girls look the same and all the boys look the same too. But then the older kids all look different. There's some weird stuff. Some godly forces must be behind this stuff. You're not wrong, Denless. I was 16, I've deducted. 16 years old. Go away, haven't you heard of Stranger Danger? Very smart, Lily. Oh wait, there's a kid there. They call me Buck because I kick lots, so stand back before I kick your butt. Oops, don't say, tell anyone I said that word. Some high quality dialogue. Some high quality dialogue. <laughs> Sometimes if you look out the window, you'll see something cool. I've got two NPCs in this game named Lucy. Okay, let's look out the window because Lucy's telling me to look out the window. You see someone, you see Laura, but then you realize there must be some of your memories leaking through. Laura. Ah, <gasps> oh, bit of a the framing device coming back in. Who is Laura? Will we find out? We actually won't find out because Laura's not in this version. Outside the window you can see many buildings, even an out of place log cabin. I can't wait until I'm older. Old people get to do everything, but kids like me are restricted from doing stuff. Yeah, this is Villa Castle Game Jam number three. <laughs> a long time ago. Yeah. Okay, I'm back. Seems like someone's hacking into the mainframe and trying to screw things over. <laughs> um, hopefully it's okay now. I think the internet just dropped out for a second. Did I talk to everyone in this room? Mr. Drake is really cool. Just look at him. I'm so lucky. Mr. Drake is also a real life person. He was my grade six teacher. Yo, I'm the cool teacher. You want to know why? Because I have a cape and I can read. How much better can I get? Oh, I'm about to... Yeah, Laura is hacking into the mainframe. I'm about to out Mr. Drake here a little bit. So one time in grade six, we had, um, I don't know what you call it, like a play period. Like we all went outside to play on the playground for a bit as like a class. And Mr. Drake was there as our teacher. And he asked me and my friend, he said, can you go upstairs and get my phone? I left it on my desk. <laughs> it goes even further back, you know, but yeah. He, so me and my friend, we go up to the classroom while everyone's on the playground, and we get his phone off his desk. And we're looking at his phone, and like, should we should we take a look at the lock screen? 
and we, we open his lock screen like little mischievous little rats we are. And what do we see but a text from someone called Max saying, I want to suck your cock so hard. <laughs> and we were like, oh, what? And um, I guess this is getting a bit, they explained a bit much, but people figured that Mr. Drake was um was, was gay in grade six. I know, a little perceptive grade six people we are. But that really put it in the coffin. There weren't really any homophobes. I can only think of one actual homophobe that was in our class in grade six. But yeah, and me and Nick were like, oh, we cannot tell this to anybody. So we, we handed him the phone. And then later, like five minutes later, he calls over me and Nick and he's like, Tom and Nick, did you, did you look at my phone screen when you were getting my phone? And we're like, no, no, we did not. <laughs> because there's no way in hell we were admitting to what we saw. Because, I mean, that would just be way too much of a mess. So, yeah. Mr. Drake, your secret is out there to the world now. I'm sorry about that. I hope you and Max are still together. But Max really should not be texting you that stuff during school hours. Mr. Drake, oh yeah, we already talked to you. Okay, I think this is where we have a reference to a game made by a certain smoked paprika. So many books, these kids sure are lucky. Uh, maybe it's a book on the ground. Here we go. This book is about a trubbish who, despite being a trubbish, finds amazing friends. Okay, that's essentially the reference to smoked paprika and home. Let's go. Yeah, <laughs> that's our smoke paprika reference. They say the more I read, the smarter I will be. How cool is that? You're you're such a good kid, Tilly. If only all kids could be like you. Okay, I've got one last class to look at, and I think this will be. Yeah, yeah. I text smoked paprika somewhat recently because I was feeling nostalgic. Um, and he seems to be doing fine. I, I don't talk to him often. That was like the first time in probably like three years that I messaged him. I lost all like contact on Discord with him, but I found his Twitter or something through TAC, I think. I think TAC gave it to me. These children are so dumb. They actually believe that this is just apple juice. Oh my god. Miss Scarlet, drinking on the job. I'm happy to say that Miss Scarlet is not actually based off anyone I know. I don't like Miss Scarlet. She can be really rude, and my parents said it is bad to be rude. I'm not sure why, but we have these weird statues in our classroom. On the whiteboard is some simple stuff. Okay, so to progress the story, some nice plants outside. Let's check this window. Well, we came in here to look for a key to the cabin where the janitor and Dr. Dre meet to exchange stolen goods. And apparently the key is hidden in this room. Inside the statue's eyes, you see a key. Obtained red key. You put red key and key out of his pocket. Hey boy, what are you doing? You stop that at once. You hear the bell ring, marking the end of lunchtime. You are truly saved by the bell. I think saved by the bell was a um a TV show or something back then. With a key to where Lily Pop is, that all that's left to do is pay the, that log cabin a visit. There's one, only one building in town that resembles a log cabin, so it should be easy. But that means sneaking out at night. And what if the janitor and whoever else is involved is at the cabin? We know they're going to be at the cabin, you dumbass. They said they're meeting at the cabin tonight. <laughs> like, what are you smoking? The message in the bookshelf made it out as if there's more than one person involved. And that they will meet tonight at the log cabin. What was I thinking? The rest of the school was normal, I had no more investigating left to do. Before I knew it, I was waiting in my room late at night, getting ready to sneak out. Okay, any flavor text? Some pretty good books, the person who owns them must have good taste. Nice way to compliment yourself. No way, oh, the secret potion? Let's get it. Ha 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 ha. Let's um, work our way downstairs and see if we can sneak out of home. Thank you for the hydrate, I actually was getting thirsty. It is, <laughs> but you know, I had to take off the posters that tell you the controls. <laughs> oh, does the computer say anything? No, it does not. Tom, why did you not add flavor text for that? 
What about this? I probably shouldn't turn on the TV. I might wake some people up. Yep. In this house, that looks like it only suits one person. Okay, you really dropped the ball on the flavor text in the stream, Tom. You did flavor text all over the school for every window, but not here. Running through the rain, I end up in front of a lob cabin. I wasn't ready. Are you ready for this game to take a dark turn and not be well written? Here we go. Okay, so out of all my loot today, we have made a decent amount. <laughs> yeah, and there's that too. The video games will be easy to sell, but it will be really hard to find a buyer for the Pokemon. I know a few people who might want it, but it's only a Lillipop. You stuffed up this big this time, Bob. This Lillipop is way more trouble than it's worth. Well, you could always just dump it in the caves if we're having too much trouble. But we should get some money out of it if we can. Guys, you might want to take a look behind you. Wait a moment. This is the kid who was snooping around in my class at lunch. He is the one who took the spare key. I know who he is. He is a student. I believe he is from 2B. Child, it isn't what it looks like. The headmaster, the janitor, and I are just talking about adult stuff. You idiot. He knows what is going on. He has been looking for the sleep hop. This is no accident. What are we supposed to do? He's going to blab to the others. Now, people, take a vote. A bunch of adults who are taking part in pe petty theft see a child walk into a room and see what they're doing. What is a reasonable thing for them to do? I'll get him. Yeah, essentially. <laughs> Stay still, kiddo. We could always throw him in the caves with the dog. He's a student. Can't you imagine the backlash if we get found out? Can you imagine the backlash if he tells others about us? I'm not leaving a child alone in the caves to die. That is wrong. Then let me do it. Oh, but Janet is going to take us out. If you expect me to go back to jail, you're wrong. Oh my god, but Janet is past. He's straight out of jail. Ah, oh. I used to have a decent... Oh, and now he's monologuing to us. I used to have a decent life with a decent job, but I slipped up and ruined it. Like, I, I understand how dumb this is. Imagine, like, a janitor just about to take you out to kill you, and then it's like, ah, oh, you know, kid, I once had a good life. I had a decent job, but I made a mistake once. I can't go back to that life, but I can prevent it from getting worse. But Janet is just the main character now. His fan game is coming next. We're going to get a little fan game about what exactly the janitor did to get thrown back in jail, and then his road to redemption where he worked an honest life as a janitor, and then when he gave in to temptation and started stealing. So let me solve our little problem. If we get found out about this, I will take the blame. Just say I threatened to kill you two if you didn't help. The jury will believe that. <laughs> no objections? Well, that settles it. Let's go, kiddo. Sorry about this. What was your name again? Tom. Please understand that if anything personal, that it isn't anything personal. I just can't go back to jail. I'm too old now. I would rather the cold and piece of death take me before it comes to. <laughs> oh! <laughs> this janitor just talking about the cold and piece of death. And, um, yeah, well, we're about to see, like, the whole flashback part of the game change <laughs> plays. He really doesn't like cops. He's, he's part of ACAB. The cops ain't getting a piece of him. He's dying in his chair at an old age. Honestly, you deserve to live more than I do. I've done wrong. You haven't. I've lived most of my life. You haven't. I forgot how long this monologue was. But sometimes in life, you have to be selfish. It is me or you. And I know who I'm rooting for. If it makes you feel any better, a little trio is probably going to stop. So you did help the world. I've got enough money from this to have a feudal retirement. I'm not sure about Scott or Dravo. They might just have to try to get jobs in another region. A fresh girl at life in a fresh place. I do like how in this world teachers are also underpaid. I can't believe 16-year-old Tom was that based. Don't think I don't feel guilty. I do. Please, just stay here. Just go quietly. Don't try to leave. This is a big cave with dangerous Pokemon in it. Bye. May you find a happy end in here. You can't just leave a kid to die in a cave and say you have a happy end in here. What a horrible old man. Where am I? Where do I go? Ted's leap up looks into your eyes. It looks like he wants to join your party. Tom received a Pokemon from Ted. Maybe I have a chance to get out of here. here. This isn't right. So here we're getting the flashback stuff because... This game takes place as an old man looking back at his memories as he's dying. I'm having trouble remembering. My memories, they are falling apart. What was the... 
What credits did I put in the Fed? Let me check. Did I actually credit it incorrectly? Or well, I guess I probably credited Pokemon Essentials incorrectly. That's alright, everybody knows who Maruno is. Back then, I think Pokemon Essentials credits was just those three names. That was actually the only people who worked on it. Maruno used to be quite, like, um... I don't want to say possessive, but... It was only after a certain point that he actually let people contribute to it. What did I look like back then? No, this is how I look now! Just let me relive my memories in peace, please. Your shoes seem to have changed. Maybe you can run now. How convenient. When you change to the character sprite sheet that has a running sprite sheet, you now get running shoes magically. But this is old essentials, so the keys are different. How magical. Okay, um... Now I know this game, I know that there is no trainer battle I actually need to do, so we're just gonna run through the cave and run from every battle. <laughs> Not the same magic. <laughs> I hope this all makes you guys feel a bit better about your first fan games. Oh, and not it's not the stair graphic that's worrying me. It's the default wild encounter density. Fuck me. Hoppity hoppity. A Golbat, level 12. The default in the music still slaps. You'll get it. Keep on. I mean, seriously, like, you don't need to make something amazing to compete in a jam. Just look at this. You just need to make something. It doesn't need to be some perfect, polished mud ball. It can be a little sloppy, cow poo shaped mud ball. Pokemon Go keeps throwing gold out. Really? I remember I found so many Zubats in Pokemon Go. Oh, your first fan game was pretty damn good, if I do say. And, okay. This is intentional, but the, the void is intentional. So the whole idea, again, maybe not, well, 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 we'll see it clearly here, but it's like the dude's memories are collapsing because he's dying and he's losing focus and not being able to remember correctly. What is this? And so, um, you'll never see this because the game was never finished, but, okay, does this mean that this is it? This is essentially the scene where the character grows up, he joins a police force, he works for the main character of Pokemon Journey, but we'll get into that later. <laughs> Welcome back, Sade. Yes, we've been chucked in a cave to die, and now we're struggling to remember things. Um, so the idea is that the character at some point will go through the police force and he'll raise his lily pop with him to the interest island. But then he takes on this detective mystery casing and he catches the old man. This old man's a murderer. But the murderer sends the croc Rock out to attack our main character here. And then this Statland dies. And so our main character goes all depressor mode because his lifelong partner is dead. This is, um, I guess this means my time is up. I can't fight it anymore. It's time for me to return to a present to die. Fuck, I can't even remember what this was supposed to be. I think that's supposed to be Laura. But I can't remember what. This isn't sixth grade, me. This is like, fucking, I don't know. I was 16. What grade is that? <laughs> this is like grade 9 me, I think. And then this is obviously the three people who chucked me in this cave to die. And that's for younger myself. Who is this in front of me? Could it be? I'm remembering. The school, the evil trio, Lillipop. And me, Tom. This is him. I remember. This is young me. Over here. There's a boy lying on the ground. It must be him. I think, yeah, so I don't have grade 13. UK has a thing called grade 13, right? Our final grade is grade 12. Anyway. Hey, good on you, Kirk. Not too shabby for your first job. Thanks, Laura. There's Laura. 
I'm just happy that we found him. A young kid goes missing is a, a young kid going missing is pretty serious. Hey kid, Tom right? Wake up, you're gonna be okay. We can get some food in your belly. Tell us, kid, who did this to you? Take it easy, the poor guy has been trapped in here for nearly two full days. Oh no wonder we hardly remember what happened in the cave. We were stuck in there for two full days. Yes, sorry. Come on, kid. Let's get you rested up. We can ask questions. Looking behind you, you can see the rest of the cave where the rest of the cave is meant to be. I guess there's no going back. Kirk, help the guy up. We'll take him home and interview him tomorrow night. Here, take my hand. Oh, right, right. I guess it makes sense that I'm having trouble remembering this part. I was trapped in here for two days. It's no wonder I was trying to suppress these memories. Does that mean that I'm not dying? Do I still have more time to go over my life? Please, let me remember more. Roll credit. Oh, not roll credits quite yet. So we, look, we looked into that trio of the ones who kidnapped you and threw into that cave. The headmaster, the teacher, and the janitor. Sounds like a bit of a bad joke to me, eh? Shut up, Jeff. You know, something like a janitor, a headmaster, and a teacher walk into a bar? I said shut up. We have work to do. Anyway, Tom, that trio of staff seems to have run off and disappeared from the region. We can't find them at all. So until then, we can't do anything to bring justice. But if you feel unwell, just let us know and we can help pay for your mental health care if needed. Really, Kirk? He is too young to understand. You should be telling his parents this. Hey, he is only a year younger than Laura, and she is smarter than us. Laura is special. You can't treat every teen like her. Come on, let's get back to this. So as I was saying, there isn't much more we can do. That trio of villains is off the radar. We're lucky that Jess or whatever her name was dropped the idea that you might be in the Lost Caves. Therapy, yeah. I do wonder how she knew, though. Stay close to her, kid. If a girl saves your bacon, she is a keeper. Kirk, yeah, seriously, you're just making things awkward. I'm just giving him some life advice. Cool your jets. Hello, Dreninja. Thank you, thank you. What do you mean? I've never even seen you do any work. Are you kidding me? I've been in the scribe of this whole interview. You couldn't write all of this. Oh yeah? Okay, Mr. Fast Rider. Let's see if you can write the part where you eat my fist. Huh. You're weak, man. I've seen Laura kick your butt. Trust you to think hitting a girl is a good idea. I didn't mean it like that. If you're so tough, then prove it. Hit me. I dare you. Oh yeah? Well, maybe I will. Do it. This continued for a while. Good old Jeff and Kirk. The next year followed without too many bumps. People found out about how I managed to get Ted's sleep up back. Ted ended up getting... Ted ended up letting me keep him since his parents didn't let him keep Pokemon anyway. I was fine with that. I had grown to like Charlie quite a bit. Charlie is named after my old... late dog. I thanked Jess. She was the one who figured out where I was and told the cops. Just as Kirk said, she didn't indeed save my bacon. We grew close after that. We got along quite well. People at school started asking me to help with them with their mysteries. I became quite popular. Oh yes, I remember now. School. With a sudden loss of staff, the biggest school in the region closed down. In a time when lots of students were already dropping out to become trainers, things just got worse. An age of crime began. And that's when Laura needed my help. Alright, so that's the end of the game. What happens after that that I had made, but I have lost the files of, is that you join the police... The police boss, who is the protagonist of Pokemon Journey, that we're actually going to play next, um, is actually a bit evil. You go on a mission and you find out that Ted, Rex, and one of the other people who are in your year level started a bike gang. You're trying to stop them. You go into a haunted mansion. Haunted mansion hijinks happens. That's all about all I had made. I had more stuff planned after that, but, like, yeah, it is what it is. Congrats, man, you beat the game, it's all over. Hey, it's me. The fact that you made it to the end means a lot to me. I'm not sure if you quite understand. If you didn't already know, this was made for the Relic Castle Game Jam. If you hadn't, haven't yet, check it out. Mine is probably the worst project of all the Game Jam projects. So go give some others some love. If you enjoyed this, please leave a message on the thread on Relic Castle. It would mean the world to me to hear. It would mean the world to me to hear that somebody enjoyed this thing that I made. I have some plans to expand on the story of this game and add more to the story of a high school detective. But I'm currently looking for an artist to help me out with my projects, so if you're willing to help and want to make some stuff with me, just hit me up on the Relic Castle DMs. If an update does come out, just talk, just download it and talk about Bulbasaur over there. He will plonk you right back into the story. Once again, thank you so much for playing. This is my first published project, and I have the jam to thank for motivating me to finish. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye! <laughs> okay, well you're going to enjoy the rest of our day. I'm sorry man, but there's no more content for you. Maybe come back once an update is out. Little did he know, an update never came out. I too 
fell into the trap of thinking that updating a jam game post jam is possible. Hello, Andy. Welcome, welcome. So now I think we will actually move over to a little project that was my second game I made called Pokemon Journey.